Number eight, resurrection. Bible teaches plainly, and there are many evidences in the world, that the Christ Jesus was raised from the dead. Never mind the fact that people are raised from the dead today in Jesus' name. The name of Jesus has power over death. But we will be raised in future. Jesus was raised in the past. And it speaks to our lives today about the resurrection power that is available to us. If Christ be not raised, then we don't have any hope. If Christ be raised, then we are raised together with him and made to sit together with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is our hope, the resurrection from the dead. It's been proven in history. It's been proven in, a, in, in everyday life by believers who actually believe it. Some don't believe. Oh, they believe in some historical thing because they can figure it out with their brains, but they don't believe in the resurrection power of God in their lives in the name of Jesus every single day. You've got to believe this. This is what we're talking about. The resurrection life, the proof of God in your life every single day. The resurrection proves that we have been forgiven by God. See, he has quickened us together, having forgiven you all of your trespasses in Colossians 2, 12 and 13. It is the proof that God's work in Christ was completed. When he raised Jesus from the dead, it was the punctuation mark on the work of Christ. He says he was delivered because of our offenses in Romans 4, verse 25. And he was raised again from the dead because we were justified. Because the work was finished, because the work was completed, he was raised from the dead and we are raised together with him. It proves that we have a risen victorious Savior. Romans 6, verse 3 and 4. It says, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should also walk in newness of life. If you're not walking in newness of life, if you don't believe in the resurrection, if you don't believe in the resurrection power of God in your life every single day, you will not give glory to God. People say, oh, I give glory to God by my sickness. I give glory to God by my trials. I give glory to God by being defeated by everything around me. No, you give glory to God like Paul gave glory to God by the resurrection power. God said, my grace is sufficient. We're going to talk about grace. He said, my grace is sufficient. But Paul only had that grace because of the resurrection power of God. The resurrection, the completed work of Jesus Christ allowed the grace and the power of God. And by the grace of God, he was able to go through trials. By the grace of God, by the power of resurrection, he was able to be sustained in all of these things. Without the resurrection, there is no hope for your life. You cannot get up every morning. The mercies are not new without the resurrection. The mercies are new because of the resurrection. They are proven new. They are proven sound. They are proven powerful because God in his wisdom, raised Jesus from the dead, and he raises you from the dead every single day. That power is available. I'm, to, I'm, I'm declaring res resurrection for your life, resurrection for your ministry, resurrection from sins and darkness and depravity, because Jesus, if anybody can do it, Jesus did it, and he's going to do it for you today. The resurrection proves so many things that Satan and his demons could not prevail. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory if they'd have known. It proves we have a God that always wins. Acts 26, 8. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? There's many things that it proves in here. Let me see if there's another one I want to I speak to. It proves God's love. It proves that power is available in this lifetime. Power is available in this lifetime. Every day, resurrection life, resurrection power. It's what we live on. It proves Jesus Christ is Lord of all, 1 Peter 3, 21 and 22. It proves we have an eternal hope. Not just in this lifetime, we have an eternal hope. It proves Christ will return. It proves that God is daily providing for your life. 
And it proves that there's always more. Never stop pressing. Never stop going deeper into God. Philippians 3 and verse 10 says, That I may know, I press into God, that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection. We need to know the power every single day. Greater power. Now, when we talk about hope and we talk about uh, Ephesians 1 and Ephesians 3, we're going to talk about the power that God has afforded to us. Uh, that, and you need to know this. But this is where it starts. If you're not going to get this, you're not going to get that. If you're not going to get the fact that you have been raised from the dead already, and that his life already works in you, that resurrection power, that same power that he used to raise Christ from the dead dwells in you now. You're not going to understand that <laughs> it's available to you, and you're not going to have faith for it. Those people who don't believe that the power is available, that any power is available for today. They don't have faith for it, and they fail of the grace of God. A promise is left to them, and they fail of it. Paul said, man, we better fear. We better be really careful, on our guard, not to fail of the grace of God, not to fail to receive these things. Because if we don't receive all God's got, we can't pour out into this earth all of God's love that he has called us to pour into this world. Power is available to every believer. It is proof. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. And we are found false witnesses. If that power of God is not available. But now is Christ risen from the dead, and become the first fruits. And in Christ many shall be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15, 20-22. Many Christians do not believe in this power of God. They do not believe in the power of resurrection. And beware, people will try and turn you off of the power. Cessationists, bless their heart, they're going to heaven. They may, if they have a relationship with Jesus, if they've confessed, confessed Jesus as Lord. But they will never live in the power of God. They will never please God in this lifetime because they have said everything that God has provided, He has not provided. God has provided life. God has provided healing. God has provided blessing. God has provided protection. God has provided power for daily living. Romans, I'm going to go through something very quickly. Romans 1 and verse 18. They hold down the truth in unrighteousness. They try and squish out the truth of God. It's clearly seen, his eternal power in Godhead. And it says, And they knew God, they glorified him not as God, and they were not thankful for the power that he had given. They became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Now this is talking about the world and the, the, those that are demonic, but it also refers to people in the church that have refused the power of God. That's the same process. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You know, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they were so wise in their own eyes. And Jesus said, man, how can you escape hell? <laughs> Jesus is there with them, speaking to them, preaching to them, and they are just batting it away. Nope, I don't want to believe that. Nope, I don't want to believe that. Nope, that's another thing I won't believe. Nope, that's another one I refuse. And Jesus is like, come on, Jerusalem, how often would I have helped you and blessed you and kept you strong and safe, but you refused? Do not refuse the kingdom of God, the power of God, the wisdom of God. Worldly thinkers will always exist. And understand that the primary message of God to men requires resurrection understanding. The message that releases the power to change the world. You are the holder and the keeper of that revelation in the word of God. Jesus Christ and him crucified is punctuated and verified by the resurrection from the dead. Without this resurrection, Christianity is powerless. And you're powerless on a daily basis. Revel in the resurrection. Be excited about the resurrection power. You can be resurrected today in Jesus' name. Your life, your ministry, your family, everything you've ever looked for out of, out of heaven. God says, if you've lost it, I can resurrect it. Just like I can resurrect you in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Thank you.